Good morning, everyone. We are here on Facebook Live and we are here in, well, I'm here in Melbourne, um, in regional Victoria, and we're joined today by an author that is also in regional Victoria, who's going to be sharing with us um, about his amazing new book. So um, whether you're watching this live now as uh, you're starting to join us or whether this is something that you're watching at a later stage, um, we have some great exciting news about what we're going to be doing with this book today. So our author that we have with us today is a amazing gentleman who is an action coach. He's also a qualified accountant and a award-winning business owner who's been on TV, radio and the likes to share his knowledge. He's also known as one of the top business coaches here in Australia. So welcome, Milton, this morning um, on your official book launch. Thank you, Susan. Great to be here. Great. So the book, oh, the book is truly amazing. Um, we, I'm going to show people a sneak peek in a moment. But before we do, tell us, Milton, how did you sort of get to where you are now? And, you know, why did you write the book? So tell us a little bit about yourself and the reason that you wrote this book. Sure. Thanks, Susan. Um, I've got a varied background. I grew up on a, a, a large cattle and wheat property and then off to boarding school, then university in Canberra, and then started to Price Waterhouse rather than go back to the land and started there as an accountant. And But also at the time, I was a highly competitive horse rider riding at an elite level in Australia. And I wanted to combine my horse riding with my professional qualifications. So I decided to move to a country area, and this case was down in Gippsland, where I found a very progressive accounting firm that gelled, that we on the same page, we could work together. We grew that business into 10 partners and over 300 staff. We had not only accounting practice, but we had, a, we had an AMP insurance agency. We had property development company. We had our own uh, finance institution, our rental company. So it was very diverse and we were very proactive in doing far more than just running your typical accounting practice. But I'd always wanted to get into hospitality. But when I was at school, and being at a conservative boarding school in Geelong, the school and my parents both said, hotel management, hospitality, that's not a real job. You need to get out. Now it's changed, of course, and now it certainly is more than a real job. But in those days, I was encouraged to go into university, which I don't regret at all. But after almost 20 years of being an accountant, I sold my practice and bought a rundown conference centre in Woodend. Now, this conference said it was a beautiful Edna Walling garden. Mind you, the owners didn't know that. They that had been lost over the time. So we took that over and built it up into the award-winning Campaspe Country House Hotel, where we concentrated during the week on boards of directors and their conference meetings and high-end executives. And then on the weekends, it was a, a, a real foodie retreat where we won lots of awards and accolades for our quality of food and service. So once again, it was striving to do, to be the best of what we were doing, like we do with the accounting firm. And that to me has been really important right throughout my career is to really excel so you stand out against your competitors. And I'm not particularly talented as a horse rider, uh, a professional or a businessman, but I always put in and worked hard at that. And as a result, got amazing results right through. And I think that's important in business, you need to stand out for your competitors because it's a competitive industry. You need to do the small things that make a big difference. And to me, it's a whole lot of small things that make the big difference in business. It's not one major thing. It's being where you can do difference, where you can delight your, your customers. Absolutely. And I think, like you said, it's it's in all areas of life. It's all those little things that accumulate up to that bigger thing. And where we come across the amazing book that we have here, um, which has um, Milton on the cover in a really interesting way with the book title being Delight, Disrupt, Deliver, Grow Your Business Using the Power of Small Surprises. So, I love the title. I love the cover. Um, it's There's so much packed inside of this. Um, but tell me, 
who needs to read this book? And you've touched a little bit. If you can then elaborate on who needs to read it and why the title Delight, Disrupt, Deliver. Thanks, Susan. The, the title Delight, Disrupt is about delighting your customers or clients. It's what you do that surprises them. Because as an accountant, they expect to be able to do their tax return and give financial advice. But if you can go beyond that, like we did, and we helped them with their insurance, we did property developments, they came on as developers with us, our clients, those that wanted to, and made a lot of money out of property development. And that was something that was, once again, much more than you expect from your average accountant. And the same with Capacity Country House. When I was running that, right from day one with the team, we sat it down and did our own SWOT analysis, which I'm a great believer in business planning and, and SWOTs and coaching that, and it also, okay, how do we stand out? We're not the most lavish venue in Victoria, but how do we be the best? And it was all about the small things. It was things like when any guests arrived, we made a note and described that person in brief. That was then circulated to all the team members. So they all knew what each guest looked like and their name. So the whole time during their stay, all our guests, all our uh, team members, use the client's name right through, even though they hadn't even met them. This blew them away. So something simple like that, guests kept thinking, how do they know who I am? You know, and they felt special because all the team members right through used their personal name. And because they were doing that too, they actually were much more warm and much more hospitable. And it's those simple things like that that made a huge difference. Absolutely. I know what it's like if, you know, if you go somewhere and they remember your name, you... You, you want to go back there, you know, you feel comfortable. But like you said, that little thing can totally transform someone's experience, you know, whether that be in hospitality or going to, uh, you know, get your bread from a local bakery or, you know, so forth. So it can be anything, a cafe, going to get a coffee. Um, so that's one of many, many some more surprises that I know are in the book um, amongst all of your knowledge. What I love about this is, is not only are you bringing your knowledge in so people can get back to the to the you know the core things that we need to know you know like you know knowing your numbers and knowing you know like you said SWOT analysis and different things like that so there's some real you know tangible things that we need to know but then there's all those little small things that we just don't think about we think about you know, oh, yes, we have to know our, you know, our profit and loss and our margins and things like that. And we might need to know those, but we forget about those little things. So what I love about this book is that it's jam packed with, you know, things that we know we should do and maybe get to understand them a little bit more. Um, and there's some really simple, what I love about this book, and I know many that have had that privilege of having a sneak peek before have said, what I love about it is the 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 amount of information that's in it but it's simplified you know sometimes you know no offense to accountants but we sometimes we can get to the point where they overcomplicate and we're like oh what do we do what I love about this is you've simplified it for people in business to know those things that they need to know but then some things that they didn't even think about um you know hence the you know delight um, disrupt deliver because it is all in the delivery as well and, and lots of small surprises. Um, so who actually really needs to read this book? You know, who's this book for? Particularly um, as a, a business and executive coach, it's for people in small business or aspiring to small business and other team members that want to excel in their careers or potentially run their own businesses. It's, it, it, talk, it draws on my experience in a variety of businesses that I've owned, but also the strong training with Action Coach, which is a worldwide, or the worldwide leading business coaching enterprise, um, which is got some great skills. There's a lot of references to Action Coach systems throughout this book too, that I apply to both the experience I gained and in training my current business clients. So it sets a lot of work there on uh, personality profiles 
understanding who your customers are, how they want to be treated, not how you want to be treated, it's how they want to be treated. So that's where I use a lot of disc analysis, which is fantastic. I'm, I'm a qualified disc assessor right through all different categories right through. I'm sort of like number 13 in the world in that with the 24 seven assessments. And also with Action Coach, I've just made the top 10 worldwide too with Action Coach, which, which, which I'm really proud of. And once again, it's hard work, it's been practical, it's been down to earth that I find how I get those results. It's not about exceptional ability. It's about that attention to detail and how you can delight, but also deliver on what people need. Yeah, I love that. Look, it's it's jam packed um, for any business owner. Like Milton said, you know, to to purchase a book for you know under fifty dollars, get your book um, with jam packed with you know what I love is it's sectioned into three parts, and we talk about you know so many different things. You know, there's there's sales techniques in here. There's you know, information on, you know, how do you work with your team? How do you, you know, work with your customers? There's so much jam-packed in here. Honestly, um, it's much more than a book. The other thing too is that it's also interactive. So that's what's unique to um, this particular book and, and Dean Publishing books is that not only is the book itself in its physical form jam-packed with lots and lots of information, it also comes with an interactive element when you purchase the book. And as you can see here from the contents that goes here and here, you can see how much is jam-packed into this book. It's, it's got so much information, but also with the interactive element that you get as part of when you purchase the book, there's some downloads and things that are going to be available after this launch that give you access to things that you can download and use in your business. You can use to help you to, you know, structure your business, get your business going, but also your team, your clients and your mindset yourself around business. So it really is jam-packed with so much information. Um, is there anything else... Um, that you would like to share with the listeners today about, you know, the book or anything else that you would like them to know? Because I know that you do coaching and, look, this book stands alone as it, as itself. It, it, there's so much information jam-packed, as I said, for any business owner. Um, but also, you know, the availability that they can also connect with you afterwards if they so choose, which I love about you know, these books, you can connect with the author, not just grab a book and read it. If you want to know more about a particular area or you want some some additional help in your business, you can also reach out to Milton as a qualified coach as well. So is there anything else you want to tell um, the listeners here today other than what we're going to do is put some links in there? We've got a 24-hour sale that Milton is um, kindly offered to put his ebook down to a reduced price of $3.99 um, to actually jump on in the next 24 hours only. And then if you want your physical copy of the book, which can be a signed copy as well in, uh, I believe, both soft and hard cover, you will see a link below where you can jump on Milton's website and purchase his book, which he will sign and send out to you as well. Um, so all those links will be here. But uh, before we wrap up this amazing um, book launch, like I said, with this great book, anything else you would like to share with the listeners? today Milton. Thanks Susan. Yeah I think as a business coach um, I'm a bit different because I was an accountant, qualified accountant working in a variety of areas with a range of clients. I specialised in the horse industry. I was the, the former horse industry professional accountant throughout Australia and I rode with all the Olympic riders at their level and they were all my clients as were the supports behind that, the breeders and, and right through the whole industry. So I was very active in the equestrian industry. So once again, get involved in the community is so important. Also, when I was CEO down at uh, Fed Square running Taxi Kitchen and the Transport Hotel Group, I was very quickly put on the board of Destination Melbourne, which was the main tourism body for Melbourne. So, and I also was then invited to do the uh, Melbourne Tourism Leadership Program, which I did in 12 months. So all of that getting involved, but it also gave me extra skills to build on my experience in running a, a range of businesses. 
And that's what I then use with my clients to help grow their businesses. So it provides them with a business that's growing, that's not dependent on them. It's very much about the action coach system of, of developing a profitable enterprise that can run without you. So you systemize it properly. You make sure you've got plans in place. You have the right people, the right culture in that business. So the business can survive without you, whether you're there or not. You can choose, of course, to be there at whatever level, but also it makes it more saleable too, if it's more a business that can stand alone. So that's to me is very important. That's what I do with, with my uh, full-time clients, both executive and also businesses that I work with. And with this, part of the offer too, for a start, people can also buy the book and do an introductory coaching session with me too, if they want to purchase that, which is also, it's all explained on my website, but it's also at a cheaper rate for as an introduction too, because I'm launching this book. Fantastic. Well, that's a great offer for any business owner. And like you said, we all get into business at the end of the day to, to build ourselves a successful business financially, but also the lifestyle that we want. And so I'm a big believer in coaching. I know that I've always had a coach and a coach just excels your business. And uh, the investment in a coach ends up paying for itself tenfold because you're growing your business and getting that lifestyle back that you always wanted. And, you know, like you said, building it up to sell it or building it up to get to the saleable stage and go, no, I want to keep it. I want to stay doing what I'm doing, which I love. So, yes, yeah, so grab this book regardless. I think it's jam-packed with so much information um, in there. The links will be below, 24-hour sale for the Kindle. And, yeah, we thank you so much, Milton, for sharing all of your knowledge in this book and for offering um, this launch to people to grab all of that knowledge out of your head in this book and uh, so they can grow their business and delight their customers. So thanks so much for joining us today. Pleasure, Susan. Thank you very much.